So it's the beginning of April, the fill and compaction of the material above the platea is basically done. There's just a few little areas at the far end of the building that need to be addressed. So what we've done is fill up to the top of these two layers of block that are down in here. And uh, so all the columns, even if they're in line with walls, they have concrete down in there a little bit. We'll just need to clean the fill material out before we continue with concrete with those columns. But the forming and pouring of those all these columns will take place after the block work. This is one of what we call the garden strips. It's basically an alleyway between the two building uh, sections to, to allow ventilation to the rooms that are adjacent to this alley. And uh, what we've done is compacted material in here that's at a slope going away from us. So if water gets in here, it will naturally uh, find its way out. Uh, we will put a thin concrete cap on top of this, then put a drain pipe, pretty much a French drain system with gravel. Uh, and then of course, if we want to end up putting plants or vegetation in this area, we can after that, but we'll know that water is not an issue. This is kind of the main lobby area of the building. It's all filled. This is kind of the central garden. Uh, these columns were poured up two meters high. These were done because they were freestanding at the time so we could get this compaction done in this area. During the compaction, we did use uh, this hose very regularly, the water to water this fill material so that it would properly compact. So basically the only thing left to do are these little areas uh, where we added some block work um, after we had done the fill and compaction, realized the, these were doorways, a uh, little miscommunication with the block people as far as uh, whether we needed these block in place, but we do in fact. So here's another one of the long garden sections that has material in it to help water find its way out. This is some of the material that we have uh, had ordered when we did the platea, sand and gravel. Some of that actually belongs to the guest house construction uh, teams. So they have some material here that was purchased at a volume discount, so to speak. Uh, you can see the wall has been completed. A good portion of the south side of the property, or at least the block work is done, still needs the top beam or Vega. And then even this west wall needs uh, some, some finish work done to it. Frank has taken over as a farmer in the area and actually he's uh, he knocked the topsoil that we had stockpiled back here, knocked that down level with a grader, paid a grader to come do that and then they've planted yucca on it and then he has uh, a bunch of plantains and bananas planted in this area. He's uh, financed this himself and uh, plans to pay himself back for what's been done and, and whatever uh, additional money is left over he'll give to the project. We do have some remaining rebar stockpiled here that we'll use for beams and vegas. That's there under the blue tarp. Over here at the west side of the property close to the wall we have a well uh, where we can get our own water. We will soon be connecting up to a new water line that's been run out the highway past us, about two kilometer five. This metal fence was put in in January. It's been very nice to have to provide security. What you can't, what you uh, don't see, you're less tempted to steal. When Laura, the concrete company, was here, of course, they put in that well for water. They ran this two inch pipe that comes over to this cistern. So this cistern is what we're using for water, for the fill and compaction, to be sure it's got the right moisture content in it. And then we recently have gone ahead and kind of hard piped a pressurized pump, and that goes over to a hose bib over next to the building. Here's the hose bib located close to the building. Uh, so we'll be able to use that for masonry work so they can get